hello there, my name's Harry from HS Carpentry. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are in the workshop. We're working on our TV unit to go inside the panel room on our state home refurbishment in Norfolk. This TV unit is gonna be made up of oak veneer um, along with some solid oak as well. So the moldings around the front um, and the back side, they're gonna be solid as well as the drawer boxes, uh, the doors, everything essentially that we can't hide the edge on because we don't want to use any edge banding on this. Um, client's not really a great big fan of it, hence why we're using the solid oak where we need to. Everything else will be made up with the oak veneer. So now, let me take you over there. Um, as I said, we are in the workshop doing this one, so I think this is actually going to be the first time, first video we're going to have in the workshop. So we have already made some progress on it, uh, which you can see now, so as I mentioned, we have really made some progress on this. Uh, we've basically got the carcasses um, sorted. We've just got the two to go either side. So, sort of a quick rundown of it. TV is obviously going to go in here. We're going to have one plain panelled side, which is probably going to be this edge here, because I don't know if you can see from the bottom there. We've got these boxes down the bottom. We're going to have four drawers down there. Uh, from where we have the step of the room. Once we get on the side, we'll be able to explain it a bit better. So, where the step is, is where these boxes are going to go. That's then going to give us a level base for the bigger units to sit on top of. All right. As I said, TV is going to go inside here. We've got a big 65 inch TV going here, uh, and we have the electric mount. I'm not sure if you can pick that up. Moving off, so I haven't cut the top yet. So we can only go up and down so far. But there you go. So you can see. It's moving, remote controlled. Once we get it on site, once we get the TV in there, we can then set the memory on here. So the client all he has to do, press memory one for instance, and the TV will uh, raise itself. And memory two, the TV will close itself. Um, we've got these two units to build on the side here, which we're gonna have some more drawers in. So one side, I'm kind of leaning towards having the drawers and the doors all on one side, and then the other side panelled almost like you would a bit of freestanding furniture, you know, you'd have drawers and doors on one side and then the back of the unit where it would get pushed up to a wall or something on the other side. So that's what I'm leaning towards because we want it to look like a separate part. We don't want it to look like part of the room even though it will be, okay? Okay, so as you saw, we've just got all of the bases and tops done for the two units. All right, now, this fence up here, this dark blue fence is uh, removable. So that just sort of keeps you square as you're going down with the domino. All right, so that can come off because that will get in the way from the next one. Now, on the domino, you've got these three pins either side of the cutter. Um, now, that will give you an exact reference face from one domino to the other, all right? So what we've done here is we've set out these two, we've tucked the sort of second and third in, which you could lock in place individually, and we've just left the one either side, the first one either side. So obviously the right will come from the right and that will give us a margin there, and the same from the left. And now when we come to do the sort of uprights, we've then got that exact reference face that we can mirror for each slot. Then for the center, we just come in 250 mil, which is obviously the center of the units. Uh, 250 mil, marking that, that's the center, center of our third and final domino for each of these 
pieces, all right? Um, so like I said, there's three before, that's how we mark it out, that's how we gauge it. You know, this Festival Domino is just, uh, you can't go wrong with it. Once you've made that initial investment, it's, uh, it's a fantastic piece of kit. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We've just gone down and we've just plunged our 15 mil sections into the bases, all right? Obviously we can't go any deeper than that because we're only working with 18, 19 mil MDF. Um, so what we're gonna do is put the remaining 35 millimeters into the uprights um, and uh, yeah, that, that'll be um, perfect. You get it all glued up. So we've got all of the uh, backs on the units now, um, and what you saw us written down here were 200 mil strips to go into the centre of the TV unit. All right. Now this is going to be there to take the doors. So we need two sets of doubles. This is over well nearly 1600 wide this unit. So there's no way we can do just two doors. I just feel like because we've got to use solid oak, the oak would move and warp. So to keep it on the safe side, we're going to stick with four doors here, so obviously two sets of doubles. Now, so this needs to go in the middle to take the door here and the door on this side of the line. So what I've done is ripped down two, glued, and then a couple of screws at the top and bottom on both sides where the hinges are going to go. So the hinges are going to go here, which is going to cover up the screw, that screw, and the same on the other side, obviously. So now what we need to do is domino this and get this fixed into the top. Again, obviously we can't have any fixings because the top up here is going to be exposed. So we're going to use the domino to get this fixed into place. We've marked our centre line now, so we now know exactly where it needs to go. Once this is in, so if I just pop this in here, not only that, it'll help with the bow as well because obviously it's such a big bit of um, big unit, the MDF there, so it's taking the strength from that as well. So that's handy. So anyway. Once that's in place, what we're then going to have is another piece to come onto the back side here, um, which will be a bit bigger, some maybe 200 mil. Um, that's going to be a piece of solid oak. Reason being is that will then allow the TV stand to fix behind that, so we can then fix the base of the unit and to this. Obviously, the reason we can't have two bits there is because the TV is going in here, uh, and we can't cut the TV up. So that's the plan, that's what we're doing now, get this fixed in, then we can get the back piece on and then we're ready for the doors and drawers. Okay, so now as you saw, we've got the two top and or bottom and top domino plunged. We can now plunge the actual rail that's going to be going in there. So we've gone 15 mil inside, 15 mil inside. We're using a 15 mil domino. Obviously, we're working with 19 mil MDF, and then we'll come 35 mil into the rail, uh, and then we will have enough 
movement on both of these together to be able to squeeze that in there, clamp it up, let the glue roll off and then we're good. So, in place now, nice and square, nice and parallel. Um, we'll let, leave that for an hour, a couple of hours, let the glue go off, um, leave it in the clamp, and then we can take it off. In the meantime, we'll get this machined up at the back here for our TV stand, or TV mount, I should say. That can obviously get fixed onto the back of this, and then we can go from there. Ideally, I really would have liked to have put that on first, but I don't think we would have had enough room or enough flex, sorry, in this board um, if we had that on because obviously that would have been slightly further back and slightly wider as well, so a much bigger piece. I think it would have been just too much of a struggle to get that in, but anyway, this is in now. I'm glad it worked out. Um, everything's nice and flush. Uh, okay, so we now have the centre brace in place along with our solid oak backing piece and the TV mount. So the TV mount's not fixed in yet, we've just got it in place now. This is pretty much exactly where it's going to be sitting. Um, when the telly actually goes in, obviously it's centre. Um, you've got plenty of room behind for all the cables and whatnot to come down. Come through here, and the cables actually fall pretty much level. So that works out really, really nicely. Um, might be able to come and tuck them down here and have a channel to come out into this unit down the bottom where obviously the power source and everything is going to be. Okay, so yesterday afternoon we popped to the merchants, uh, as local sawmill to us, and picked up some mouldings um, that we're using on the TV unit. Now the reason why we didn't machine these mouldings up is a few months ago these guys machined this same moulding for us and they had the cutter made. So it seems silly to have our own cutter made when our supplier already has one. So now what we've done is the client would like to use the same moulding as the one we used for the solid oak jaw build. So that's on there if you want to have a watch, feel free. I'll leave a link to that one in the description. So I've just opened these up so I can show you the moulding and the profile. Um, we've actually got two different ones here, all right, um, but using the same cut. Now, the reason being is if we start with this one, this is the full size moulding, so hopefully the camera can pick it up. You can see uh, the size of it. Now the stand up at the back here is 15 millimetres tall. All right. Now that would have just been too big to go onto the draw doors of drawers. You know, these are cabinet doors, they're not full size doors. So what I asked the merchants to do was just to make a smaller version of the same moulding. And as you can see, the upstand is smaller. So the upstand we've got now is 10 millimetres as opposed to 15 millimetres. And obviously the rest of the moulding is then in proportion to the rest of it. So, you know, the percentage they reduce that by, they reduce the entire moulding by that as well. Um, I just think it will look a lot crisper when you've got the detail in proportion to the rest of it. You know, if we had this great big moulding on small doors and drawer fronts, it just wouldn't work. So that's what we've got for that. And obviously the bigger moulding is then going to create our panels on the sides and the back, you know, to give it a bit more 
detail. We're going to have some big panels, so we want some nice sized mouldings to go with that. That's the plan. Obviously, we'll keep these to one side for now, um, and uh, we'll be ready for those once we've got all of our stuff machined up. Um, obviously, we've shown you the other mouldings that we've done. We've got the radius to go around as well. So there's going to be a lot of detail in this. I'm really, really excited to see it all together.